by Max. By Melissa. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, January 16th, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I am on my going to be on my way to the airport to head back to Texas. Yay. Okay, so a pro tip for whenever my mom and I are traveling, um, if you don't have to be anywhere, basically like immediately after your flight, it's always good to volunteer for a bump because if you get bumped to a later flight, they will give you compensation for future flights. So like I just bumped to a later flight tonight and I got $500 in credits towards flights in the future. So if you ever have the chance to bump for a later flight, be sure to do that because it is very, very helpful in the future when you want to go somewhere you don't have any money. Are you really vlogging right now? So this was supposed to be a travel vlog, but you won't see that until tonight because I got five hundred dollars and my flight's not until six fifty tonight. So we're going bowling. Hey you, you're a hustler. You're a hustler. You're a big hustler. You hustled me last time. Game time? No, because I lost. Zach's a hustler, but he has no proof of him beating me. I only have proof of me beating him. It's okay, I still won the second game where we bet something. You're sort of loser. You're so amazing. So this is either gonna go super well or super bad, because this is what like can fill me up or it can just make me, my insides go crazy. But I got a burrito. I haven't eaten much today, and I didn't know it was going to fill me up until I have to go to my cousin's house because I don't land until very, very late um, tonight in Texas. So, but I managed to get a free drink, and I got double meat, I got chicken and steak, but I only paid for single chicken. So, you know, it's great. It's a great day all around. I got $500 in flights, you know. What else? What else good is coming my way? Maybe I get another bug. Maybe I get to stay at home another night. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay guys, so I'm here at my cousin's house in Austin, Texas. It is 12.34 and I'm ready to go to sleep. So I'll see you guys in the morning. The current situation, which I'll elaborate more on later. Okay, can I just get a medium fry? Just one medium fry? Yeah. Okay, I'll have a code the second window. Thank you. And it's raining, of course. Hello, how are you? Hi, good. 226. Would you like any salt pepper ketchup? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. Thank you. You too. To the Taco Bell, which is over the 
this way. Ooh, I love fries. It smells so good. Be good. Be good, fam. Thank you. The grill at Whataburger was a lot nicer than this grill at Taco Bell. Okay, so as you saw in the last clip, I was packing up my dorm, and as you can see, all of my stuff is in the back here. So what I have actually decided is that I am going to be transferring out of Prairie View. I submitted my withdrawal form. I submitted my withdrawal form this morning, and I already have arrangements to go drive back to California next week. And for this week, I will be staying at my aunt's house. Um, so in Austin, so I'll just be doing stuff around here, but I did decide to withdraw from school and that wasn't because of anything specific. It was kind of like a lot of things combined together. Um, I don't feel like I owe anyone an explanation just because I decided that it was in my best interest to um, leave. I, I feel that if you don't think that you are in a place or in a position where you are going to thrive and you are going to grow and become the ultimate best person that you can be, then you should remove yourself from that situation. And that's ultimately what I decided to do. Um, I have also decided that I'm not going to be playing soccer anymore. It just wasn't a passion of mine. Um, I've really grown out of it and it was a great experience being a D1 soccer player for a semester but I don't think um, it's what I ultimately want to do so I just I removed myself from that situation as well and I again I don't feel like I owe an explanation to anyone but I wanted to catch you guys up on what is going on I'm I'll probably talk about this in a future video um, just like more about loving yourself and rem like doing what's best for you and your interest even if it has these certain risks because leaving this school means that I will have to pay for my education and I know a lot of people are going to be like wow you are stupid you left I had a full ride to this school and a lot of people are like you're getting free education why would you leave and I personally think that my mental health and my mental stability is a lot more important than the money aspect. I would rather pay a couple thousand dollars um, a year to go to a school that I can always get scholarships other places too. Be happy and be somewhere that I really, really enjoy being and that I really look forward to, to going to and I really, I really just enjoy the environment and everywhere I'm in and I feel like just, it just wasn't a good fit for me. Like there's nothing, I'm not going to say anything bad about the school because there's nothing wrong with it. Like it, it just wasn't for me and I think that's just really really important for me to recognize and I'm uh, it's a big it's a big decision and yes there's a lot of risk factors and there's a lot of things that go into it and come out of it as a con there's a lot of different pros and cons that you can analyze and I decided that the pros outweighed the cons and I ultimately decided to withdraw from the university so for this next semester I will be working a ton saving up I will be back in California um, so I'll be working a ton making YouTube videos a ton. I will take the semester off from school just because it's so late to register anywhere. I may get a couple online classes, but that's if I can still. Um, I will potentially take summer classes, and then from there I have to decide whether I want to move back to Texas with my family or stay in California and become essentially completely independent and pay for my apartment, work on my own, pay for my school, everything. So I have a lot of big decisions coming up in the future, but I'm definitely going to take you guys along with me. I want to be transparent as possible while also keeping my personal space and not giving away my entire life. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, and I hope you can support um, my decision. And yeah, I'm really hungry, so I'm going to eat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to end it off here. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel. It helps a lot more than you think. If you haven't subscribed already, go click the subscribe button down below. And if you don't follow my Instagram, um, it is just at Brooke Marino. Go follow that. I post every day um, from two times a day to every other day. But I'm always posting on there. So yeah, and I will be doing... Once I hit uh, 500 subscribers on my channel, I will be doing a giveaway, and I am very, very excited for that, and I can't wait, so share this with your friends so you can enter the giveaway coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in my next one. Bye.